Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all New Jersey students, sponsored by the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started for the evening. You can utilize the question and answer button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Remember that this is one of many sessions happening this week, so be sure to check out the full schedule at njacac.org slash virtual fair. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website. And with that, I will turn it over to our presenter for the evening. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. My name is Katie Lesko, and I am the Assistant Vice President for Undergraduate Admissions. I have um, about 20 years of experience in the admissions um, uh, career, I guess that's what you would call it, right? I made a career out of this and still making a career out of this. Um, I've been about 20 years at a uh, 15 years at a different institution and the last five years at the College of St. Rose. Uh, College of St. Rose is located in Albany, New York, and so we always like to highlight the fact that it is, is the capital, even though we all think New York is, uh, New York City is. Albany is the capital of New York, which does make it significant. Um, it also makes studying, the, uh, studying in New York, um, in the capital city, a really unique experience because there's a lot of industries and a lot of opportunity when you're in a capital city uh, with that whatever major that you're thinking about. So we always like to highlight the fact that one of the pieces that makes us different is the location for St. Rose. We have majors like a lot of people have. Um, so a lot of colleges have majors in the School of Business. Um, some of the unique features of the School of Business would be that there's a Business 111 class when students come in. Um, so you're able to um, have a class where you're starting the foundations and fundamentals of business. Um, we build upon that so you can then pick your major uh, later on, uh, but still get, gaining a lot of information in all these different areas. One of the pieces that we've done is add sales management as a major. So um, sales is a, is a big part of the world we live in. Um, and many times people think of sales as a retail sales. That's only a small piece of it. Um, a lot of times deciding which clothes go on the on the shelves or um, thinking about information systems um, and selling business to business uh, solutions, things along those lines. And so the sales management, um, we are the only one in New York uh, to have that major. So we're excited about how it rounds out our school of business. School business is nice because you can combine it with a lot of other areas as well um, and students are able to stay on for a master's if they choose. Um, many students, if they're looking for a financial opportunity, they would take two degrees in four years. We have a nice combination with business administration or finance with an MBA, uh, marketing management, a human resource, all of them can combine with an MBA and you're able to do that in four years. Uh, also, they can combine it with a business analytics master's. Um, so some of the long-term thinking uh, would be an opportunity to have two degrees, and that's a great advantage uh, financially to be able to graduate um, with a degree. The 12, it's about $12,000 that you save uh, when you're thinking about the opportunity to invest in, in yourself with two degrees in four years. Uh, in the long term, though, you're also gaining another year of earning potential because you're not staying in school. Um, so there's some long-term effects as well. That's the Albany City skyline behind um, the uh, picture here is the city skyline. We are about a mile and a half from there um, in a residential area called the Pine Hills neighborhood. Um, so St. Rose is really unique and different because of our cityscape. Um, it's a neighborhood feeling. Students really like uh, the campus setting. Math and Science is another school. Um, the School of Math and Science allows for um, different majors in the natural sciences, um, like biology, biochem. We've also just added nursing. Um, we see a students coming to us for our IT suite, so it's uh, computer science, cybersecurity, information technologies. Um, but forensic science has definitely um, increased its uh, 
population for us as well, in part because we have a really nice forensic psychology and psychology program and criminal justice. And there's this opportunity at St. Rose to have a what we call the cold case center. So students that are really interested in cold case analysis, um, the idea of being able to look at at uh, files that are 20 years old. So they take cases um, that are over 20 years old and review them um, and review them through new the new lenses of new DNA opportunities um, or research opportunities to see if, if they can figure out, um, you know, solve the case essentially. But it's real cases and we work with the um, police department in, in the area, so wherever the case is. We happen to have two local cases that we're working on right now, but students um, as seniors and juniors are able to be a part of that, and it's all different majors that can do it. Um, typically, seeing we see though forensic science, forensic psych, criminal justice. Um, our math and school, math and science also has the social sciences. So we saw the math and science majors with nursing that we just added. Um, it also, we have the social sciences major in our math and science because there's a quantitative piece to what we do. So public health, social work, psych, all of those areas of study are a lot of counseling and relationships and one-on-one -on -one, um, clinical understanding of those areas of study, but there is a quantitative piece to it and a research piece to it. And we want to make sure the students have opportunities to be able to uh, explore those those areas as well. So that's why we keep it in the School of Math and Science. Um, we do our School of Arts and Humanities, which communications I have to add on here. We have communications. Um, we have design media arts and English, English ed graphic designs, we have a Center for Art and Design, uh, portfolio reviews are going on um, every weekend, uh, that's online, so there's information on our website about that. Music as well has auditions, so some of these majors have extra opportunities for um, getting into the programs. Most of the time when you apply to St. Rose, you apply to the college and we admit you to the program that you're interested in, um, but art and music both have secondary uh, they have a, a secondary review to make sure that you're of the expertise of the program. Studying in Albany when you're thinking about history or political science is absolutely a, a, an opportunity like no other. Um, the political capital is about a mile and a half, a lot of internships with the governor's office, legislative offices, um, the Senate, uh, Senate and it's whether you're on one side of the fence or the other side of the fence of the politics, or if you're the third party. Um, every lobbying group in New York State is also located in Albany. Um, so you're really able to understand how a political, the, the political machine works um, and all the different components that go into it. School of Ed is a different major or different school at St. Rose. Um, so you have our CSD program, Communication Sciences and Disorders, which really is speech pathology um, for the layman's terms of it. And then we have a lot of different ways to offer education. It's an industry that we've seen more and more students getting hired into again. Um, education went through a little bit of a dip um, without a lot of uh, opportunities for hiring. And now definitely we've got this opportunity for students um, to come in and get a job when they graduate. Uh, we've also revamped our curriculum to be able to do virtual teaching. So students are going to have experiences now to be able to host classes and do virtual teaching in order to be prepared for the next set. Um, so those are the four schools. St. Rose itself is around 2,500 students. Our average class size is about 20, maximum 35, and we have a graduate school as well. Works really well for the business and the uh, education majors because of the grad programs that we have, but we also have a master's in computer science that can be combined with uh, the science majors that we talked about. Um, when you really think about a St. Rose education, you're thinking about what you get to do with it um, as part of it. So there's research study abroad and internships. We focus on one of those areas. Um, when you're thinking about uh, gaining experience as you go, we want you to have experience, what I call experiential learning or high impact learning. And that means you get to do something. Partly we want you to do something because we want, we want you to, to know that you like that area of study. Sometimes you do something and you realize you don't like that area of study. And that's just as important in this scenario, um, gaining an internship and realizing that insurance is not where you wanna be, but you'd much rather be at a private practice of some sort um, for business, a private marketing company, something like that. 
Albany itself is known for probably about seven different industries when you really look at it, education being one of them, state education department, as well as a lot of different um, secondary education um, venues. So you have rural, urban, suburban, um, big suburban, small suburban, large urban, small urban. Um, so you get a lot of different ways to see education, but also the policies that go into to how teachers um, are informed of what they need to do and the standards that are met. That's also part of what Albany looks like. Um, we have the politics, of course, a lot of different business. So there's finance and accounting and, uh, and your marketing uh, companies that are all here. We see nanotechnology as being an industry, so a lot of research as well as the companies that need business people because they're marketing or they're um, doing accounting or something for that technology se sector. Healthcare is a huge part of the Albany uh, city area. Uh, there's two top 100 hospitals that are right, um, pretty much right next door to St. Rose. It's about five minutes away, Albany Medical Center, which is a college and a hospital, as well as St. Peter's Partners. Um, the St. Peter's Partners are all over the area as well. And you can work with elderly uh, care, you can work with pediatrics um, in all different ways. Our social work department has an internship where you become a social worker in an emergency room. Um, if there's ever stories that um, move you, it's, it's the stories of students that do that internship. Um, but many times when we think of social work, we just think education. We don't realize they're in so many other places for so many different age brackets. But that's part of going to college, is figuring out what else is there in the space and in the place that you want to do it in. We also want you to be able to be successful. So part of it is when we review your application, we're looking for students that have academic competencies. Um, but we're also looking for students that really can thrive at St. Rose. And so going on our virtual tours, meeting students, meeting faculty, being able to do those things really matter. Um, and that's part of your experience and your success and your tutoring and vet center. All of those pieces are helping you develop that uh, transition strategy is really what this screen just shows you. Uh, their career center meets with all students. Um, so that's really exciting. And they also meet with alumni. So you're never leaving these, this place behind. It carries with you in, in case you have a career change five years or 10 years or 20 years from now. Our student life, uh, about half of the students live on campus, about 80% of the first year students live on campus. And so it's a vibrant community. It's a very independent community. A lot of creative people that are producing music or doing art, they play athletics, um, you know, they play some sort of sport. They write papers and they're hanging out. Um, but they're definitely uh, involved in the, in the community, in the greater community as well. So St. Rose is a part of a neighborhood, a part of the city of Albany. Um, and so we're able to get involved in a lot of different community service um, activities. And then as well as the regular activities they have on campus, like a late night, Sarah, a late night um, St. Rose experience and uh, opportunities for hypnotists to come to campus and um, different speakers. So we really enjoy uh, the different activities. They've been doing it even virtually. They've also been doing first come first serve. So 50 people do a bingo night, socially distanced, totally spaced, uh, totally spaced well. Um, and luckily enough, we've been um, lucky to have students really respond to the rules that COVID has had to happen. Um, and really, we're proud of our community for responding that way because we've been really lucky. The application process itself is pretty simple. You have your application, which is the Common App or St. Rose App, and a letter of recommendation. Um, and again, if you're having difficulties this time period, I know what you're doing is very stressful, um, and I know a lot of people are stressed. So if you can't get a letter of rec, let us know, and we can work with you on what that means. Um, a lot of times we'll do an interview with you instead of having a letter of rec so we can waive it because we know a lot of, a lot of people are doing lots of things and they're stressed out. Um, but we definitely can meet with you and uh, talk about your transcript. The transcript we're looking at four years of math, science, English, and history, three year to four years of foreign language. Um, but a lot of times New Jersey students have two years of foreign language, that's fine because we understand state requirements as well. Um, so you see us really being flexible to what you have taken and how you've done it, um, how you've done in your classes. Normally about an 88 average, students are below that, students are above that. SATs are optional, which this year it was nice not to have to change our policy because we've, we've been optional since about 13, 2013. 
uh, that matters to me that we didn't, we already knew SATs had um, some issues. And so we're excited that um, we can just provide students the opportunity uh, to just put, provide their transcript instead or the, the transcript in the rec. We leave the resume and the essay as optional parts of the application. If you've submitted an essay, we re definitely read it. I did an essay project today and, and um, you know, we love to read those essays. But at the same point in time, if you feel like your, strength, your transcript and application are strong enough without your essay, that's okay. Um, so we let, we let you decide what to put forward um, in order to make it um, the most successful for you. And again, there's also these additional requirements. If you're thinking about some accelerated programs, um, the accelerated programs, I just got word, they actually re, um, also suspended the SATs and ACTs requirements. So sometimes SATs and ACTs were required for the NCAA to play athletics, they suspended that. Also, they were required for our accelerated program. So for students thinking about getting a double degree from St. Rose, um, the undergrad and graduate degree, normally if you're in an advanced um, accelerated program, you needed those SATs or ACTs, uh, but we have suspended that this year. So we're excited about that. We uh, look at the financial aid. Uh, so we have merit scholarships. When we accept you, we'll accept you with a merit scholarship and we'll send that information to you um, via a letter. Uh, and then um, shortly thereafter, I'd say about probably early December, we're gonna be sending out financial aid packages. Um, so if you get accepted in the early part, then you can have, you know, do that first thing about getting accepted send us the, fa the FAFSA, which is now open. Um, we have an awesome resource called financialaidking.com, and I'll send that in the chat. It's a great resource to be able to learn more about the financial aid process and really allows you to breathe a little bit, um, breaks it down very simply. So financialaidking.com. And that gives the our financial aid uh, AVP will give you advice on how to file the FAFSA and uh, make it more consumable. But if you're planning to go to St. Rose, FAFSAs are important because it allows us to understand your needs situation, your family situation. Um, outside of merit scholarships, we will offer need-based aid. We also exhaust the state and federal aid to make our private school affordable. Total all-in is around 47,000 tuition and board and fees. Um, but our merit scholarship is from 15 to $22,000. Um, and then on top of that, we can off also offer um, aid and scholarships. And so we really try to break that down to if you are living on campus at a, at a state institution is, is what you see as comparable to with a small school. Um, we do have our um, virtual, everything is virtual. So if you apply for that this early action decision, um, then we would get that information to you and have virtual opportunities. Um, we are on campus, though, offering tours at 10, 12, and 2 every day, um, also offering opportunities on the weekends to be able to see campus and uh, walk around with a tour guide in a socially distanced and safe space. Um, but we are have been able to uh, be stay, be stay open and be open since July um, because of the you know the pieces that we put together. Our regular admission is February 1st. Um, and there's some contact as well. Uh, at this point in time, that was a lot of information in a short period of time. Um, at this point in time, I'm just gonna uh, see if anybody has any questions, anything that I talked about that might be specific. So I think there's, there's somebody out there. Um, oops, no open questions right now. I guess for the person in the chat, um, in the q and I'm gonna add, uh, I guess it's the, looking for the chat function. I see the Q&A, not the chat. So the Q&A, um, if you wanna send some questions through there. Um, see if there's anything, nothing's coming through. Um, so we have um, about, we're about um, three and a half hours or so from the middle of New Jersey. Um, I can make Bergen County in about two and a half hours and then uh,
depending on traffic, uh, it takes you a little bit longer to get to the rest of New Jersey, but it's definitely an easy uh, commute to St. Rose. Something that I really uh, enjoy actually is that ride because you're not going nor near campus um, or you're not going near uh, New York City. Um, this is campus if you can see it through the, the pictures and everything else. This is all the city streets. Um, and since we do have a little bit of a time, I'm gonna stop this share and see if I can get to the, the virtual tour just so that way you've got a different, different set of um, information and vantage points. Typically students ask us what our most popular major is and I would say the most popular major is probably psychology, biology. Um, you're going to hear that a lot of different places. When we really do look at the difference between forensic psychology and psychology though, it's um, those two majors make up um, a majority of the students. Um, education has always been um, uh, something that we've been known for and um, something that's desperately needed is, is more teachers, uh, business, and then our arts and humanities. A lot of students know us for music industry, um, those sort of um, opportunities with uh, te audio technology, things along those lines. And so it's been neat to recruit for a place of, um, that has a lot of creative people that really is different than um, where I came from before, which is really neat. So let's see if I can get, our website has a lot of great information. Um, and so you're able to see a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different, um, buildings and there's a video log, there's a person who narrates the entire virtual tour. Um, we also are offering on Fridays a narrated tour and on Tuesday evenings at seven, a narrated tour. And so why we do that is because we found that when you do it by yourself, the context is not there. Um, but this is um, part of the Albany tour that we give you. Um, so campus is actually down there. Um, and I'll show you a couple pictures of campus, but this is the restaurant strip that's right near campus, which is really neat. Um, Washington Park is probably about a mile away. Um, they have tours of the tulips in the springtime, so that's always nice when you graduate. Uh, it's a beautiful spot to take pictures. Um, if you're athletics, um, we're about a couple miles away as our turf field and athletic complex that has our softball and baseball and all of those um, Facilities. So this is lacrosse and soccer, um, but some neat opportunities. And then again, um, restaurants and a, a really cool independent movie theater um, back when you could be in the movie theaters, um, as well as Lark Street's got some neat restaurants as, as well. But that's kind of your Albany downtown, a uh, little bit of your Albany downtown neighborhood um, that our students take advantage of. Um, additionally, we have a couple pictures of campus that I'll show you. Uh, there we go. Um, so she pops up and then you're able to, to listen to it that way. But you see um, our athletic center is here. Um, the way campus works is we're, we're again that neighborhood. So a lot of these buildings and city streets do, do, do run through it. Um, we like it that way. It seems to navigate really well for our students. Um, you have freshman residence halls right on campus, and so you're not too far away from your first class. Um, Brubacher is a little bit off of campus, but still not too far away from your first class. Um, if I knew what major you were, I could show you the School of Business. Uh, again, all of these... Oh, that always pops up and I have to figure out how to move this thing to be able to out of that. So the School of Business um, and then our Communication Center as well. We're one of the only buildings that has Hearst, uh, a Hearst name on it for a college campus, which is exciting. Um, that's our Communication Center, which is pretty cool. It's got podcasts to be, there's uh, studios for podcasts and um, television station, radio station, as well as all, all of our uh, audio and sound. Um, so it's got some pictures here of 
what people do and that's a radio station and then our music industry studio um and the uh i don't know if that was the other one and then this is a a place that you can actually see bands play um it's called studio g3 which is really neat that's campus a little bit um buildings here and there but also very close together where you can actually define the campus of st rose and i think that's why students end up picking us um, there's a lot of things that I said today that are similar to other colleges, um, but there's also a lot of uh, things that are unique to St. Rose. Um, and so when you're looking at schools, it really is um, about finding that a fit that makes sense for you. Um, during this time, you're going through a lot of um, different uh, questions. Does it make sense? Um, you know, do I like how big it is or how small it is? Do I like the setting? Um, and so when you're thinking about the list and putting together those characteristics, I would say that students find St. Rose um, enjoyable because they want a smaller school, but they like the idea of not being in an isolated campus. So that's one of the main differences. They have a lot of different majors that we that you can choose from. And so students who aren't really sure can come in exploratory. Um, they take a class, they meet with people, and so you're able to really find um, something that you enjoy, um, but also you're meeting the faculty along the way to be able to make sure that you really wanna do something like that so you're not second guessing yourself um, or not having the right information to make those choices. And then there's a lot of things that you can go into within the different schools. I think students find St. Rose um, they like to be able to get to the grocery store. Um, they like to be able to get to restaurants that are different. Um, and so you see a lot of students picking us up because of that as well. Um, most of the students come from about a three hour to four hour radius. Oh, yay, there's a question. <laughs> um, so the dorms are um, two to a room and we did that even with COVID because we created your new family unit but the residential halls typically have two to the room um, they're a traditional standard residence hall um, where it's a room that has um, beds on either side dressers desks things like that you can go on youtube and actually see all the different videos of the residential halls um, and actually i can get back to this and share you the picture of the res halls um, because why not uh, a lot of there's an ra on campus and an rd on or a res, or area coordinator on campus so you have a lot of activities that run through the residential halls um, and people to go to uh, in case you have questions about um, your the transition and things along those lines i have to figure out how this works sometimes it nope that's nazarene so this is kind of, you can see, this is like literally how the tour runs. Um, you're walking through campus. And we're gonna get you back to the residence hall. So we're going quick. Um, and then we have uh, lounges in each of the halls um, so students can hang out. And they've actually been used uh, more recently than ever because you can't be in someone else's room um, based on uh, safety and distances. Um, oh, this is walking us through. I can't get this to. Oh, that's our campus green, so it's always something to nice to know that you can have a place where there's cornhole and uh, can jam going on. There's cricket games that are played. Um, this would be campus in the springtime because of the way the flowers were. Um, and I promise I'm getting to Lima at some point in time. I didn't realize it was going to take me this many clicks. There's Lima. Um, so there's Lima. Uh, there it is. Yep. Ah. And if I go down here, I will show you the pictures to the room. All of that for just pictures to the room. So it's a standard regular residence hall. You can put things on the wall. This must have been set up when they didn't have things on the wall. Um, there's definitely enough room storage underneath the beds. 
And um, the best part is that you have a small survey, so you'd be uh, selecting a roommate based on a small, not a lot of questions. We realize that the more questions that you ask, the more that there is room for thinking the person on the other end is the most amazing person ever. It leaves room for learning how to get along with people that you that you're that might be different than you. And so we want to make sure that we match students based on some characteristics, but a really long laundry list is not necessarily the best way to set the expectations. I was talking to a student the other day, uh, the tour guide on third on Tuesday night with me, and she said that her roommate, her freshman year, she came from Columbia, uh, uh, the country Columbia, and so it was her first experience was coming up to the states, was coming to St. Rose, um, and she and her roommate just got along so well, but she really believes that um, they weren't best friends, they just got along and lived together really, really well. And so it made her experience that much uh, more special, uh, but also they weren't always doing everything together. So they gave each other a lot of space, which sometimes is the key to roommates. Uh, these are the computer lounges that are in, in Lima. So students right now, it's every other, but um, definitely have the opportunity. Most students will bring theirs, uh, but if you needed to be in the lab, you could be. Um, and then that's another room, another different uh, angle of the room. So that is how we do the rooms. Um, students like to be on campus, and then because we're in a neighborhood of Albany, a lot of times you will see juniors and seniors uh, live off campus, and I think they like that style as well. Um, it really just depends, it kind of grows with you. Um, if you did want to stay on campus, you could stay on campus in suite style in Centennial Hall. Um, so there is upperclassmen living, and then we all, uh, one of the characteristics St. Rose is known for is the um, Victorian houses. Uh, they're set up along the roads, uh, so it's that kind of a style of campus, and students live in those houses as well, and that's one of the special parts about being a senior is that you can get to live in one of those houses, so students really enjoy it. We've got about 10, uh, there's about 10 minutes left, but I never want to keep talking if, we, <laughs> if we're done. Um, so the key to it is um, the opportunity for you to get my contact information, and I'm, I'm not seeing the chat function, but my contact information would be on the, um, would be on the um, site. Uh, it's also, um, I can just give it to you, it's lesko, L-E-S-K-O, K. Um, so my last name and a first initial, so Lesko Katie, or Lesko K, at Stroh's, uh, dot edu. So our email handle is strose.edu. A couple of the other ways to stay connected uh, throughout this time to see if you like St. Rose is we do have a couple Instagrams through our college um, and then also Stroh's Admissions, which has some great information. We're actually doing major Mondays to highlight different tour guides with their majors. Um, so you can see how students get involved in different areas of, and activities. Um, and then we will have students who transferred to St. Rose actually highlighted as well during transfer week, which is October 19th. Um, so there's some different things on those Instagrams that we're pushing through. Um, there's also some uh, Ask Me Anything and uh, some highlight stories so you can uh, learn some other information. Then we have uh, a Facebook page, of course, but you're probably not there. Um, and then meeting students is probably one of the most important things that you can do. So any of the virtual visits we have or on-campus visits we have are going to be a great way for you to see if St. Rose is the right fit. Uh, but you can email me with any questions if you're thinking about specific majors. I try to do a big overview, not sure of what you were thinking about. Um, if there is a specific question to a major that I didn't talk about, um, I can definitely do that. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to see if there's, oh, I think it's just you and I. <laughs> Carlos, I think it's just you and I here. <laughs> I'm like, it's just you and I. <laughs> it looks like it. Not a problem. We'll awesome. go ahead and wrap this up. Love it. For the purposes of the recording and those of us watching on demand. Awesome. There is a quick survey that folks can fill out uh, that will appear and should have appeared for anyone who was in and closed out. We do have more sessions scheduled for the rest of the week at njacac.org slash virtual fair. 
and the recording of the session will also be available on that same website in about a week's time. And with that, thank you to our presenter this evening, Katie, thank you for talking to us about the College of St. Rose, and we thank everybody for watching. Have a great evening. Thank you very much.